Another popular question on pure mathematics is to state whether two lines are parallel, non-parallel, intersecting, or non-parallel and intersecting. Now, two lines are parallel if they have parallel directions. Looking at this and looking at this, they're not parallel because their directions clearly are not parallel. So just by looking at it, we can looking at their directions. This direction is not a multiple of this one. And so they are not parallel. So already established that they are not parallel. Now, next thing to check is if they are intersecting. So let's check if they're intersecting. To check if they're intersecting, we need to equate the two vectors to find the point, point of intersection. So R1, if we're to write it as one vector, R1 can be written as I plus K, that means it's one, zero, K, and then it have plus alpha times I, alpha times one I is just plus alpha. This is plus alpha. This one now is three J, so that is really plus three alpha. And then this is now, plus 4k alpha times four, so that's plus four alpha, four alpha. By the way, I did something crazy. I put k when I should have put the coefficient of k, which is one. So that's crazy, this is one. So that's R1, and this is equal to, um, let us look now what we're gonna get. This is now 2i plus 3j, so that means this is two, three, there's no k here, so this is zero, plus, this is now beta times four i, so we can write four beta, and then this right here now is beta times minus one, so that's minus beta, and then this is beta plus k, which is just plus beta. Now, if these two lines are equal, if r1 is equal to r2, Right, if R1, which is this, is equal to R2, if these two lines are equal, then that means that we can find alpha and beta that will give us a common point of intersection. So to determine that, what we're gonna do is solve the I and J components simultaneously. So we solve I and J components simultaneously. Simultaneously. Hope I spell that right. So now what we're solving then is one plus alpha. I'm gonna use a for alpha. One plus alpha is equal to two plus four beta. That's from the i component. And then from the j component we have three alpha is equal to three minus beta. So we're gonna solve these two equations simultaneously. Solving these two simultaneously, what we're gonna get is, um, I'm gonna make beta the subject from the second one. So beta will be equal to bring over this, bring over this, beta is three minus three alpha. That's from the second equation. Then I'm gonna plug it into the first equation. Plugging it into the first equation now, what we're gonna get is one plus alpha, is equal to plug in b as three minus three a right here we get two plus four times b which is three minus three a and so what we're getting is one plus a is equal to two plus four times three is twelve minus twelve a so we bring over twelve a over here we get thirteen a and bring out, this is 12 plus one, 12 plus two, I mean four, the 14 minus one, which is 13. And so A equal one. Since A equal one, put one right here. And so B 
is going to equal to three minus three times one, which is equal to zero. So that means the only that means that if they are intersecting, if they intersect, if they intersect, they do so when alpha equal one and beta equal zero. Now the only way to see if this is true is if we test it in the k component. So testing in k, testing in k. So to test it in the k component, we see that we have one plus four alpha, that is gonna give us one plus four times one, which is equal to four. So if we test it in the other one over there, we have beta, which is equal to zero. But this k component giving me four and this k component giving me zero. So what does that mean? This is not true. They're not the same. They're not equal. And so these are skewed lines. These are lines that never intersect. So we can conclude, hence, these two lines are skewed. These two lines are skewed. Skewed means they are non-parallel and not intersecting. That's what skewed means. These are not parallel and they're not intersecting. Nice and easy, soft.